Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Makoy once again. Today, we're going to do something new and something old, my man. Well, it's kind of rare. So the main topic of today's video, my man, is we are going to check the VRMs of our Aurus B450i Pro Wi-Fi from Gigabyte if we are going to pair it with Ryzen 7 2700. So kung kayo yung tipo na naghahanap ng info ng about kung ano magiging temperature ng VRMs natin kapag pinair na ang Ryzen 7 2700 na merong 8 core 16 threads sa Aorus B450i Pro Wi-Fi, then this video is for you guys. We are going to test it in three different ways. The first off is by using the IDA64 to pump up the performance of our processor to 100%. We are also going to test it when video editing kapag nagre-render na tayo ng video para malaman natin yung magiging temperature ng rear amps and buong temperature ng motherboard kapag sabay-sabay nang na-utilize ang RAM, graphics card at yung processor. Titingnan natin yung magiging performance ng VR amps overall. And we're also going to test it in games. So maglalaro tayo ng isang AAA games. Um, preferably my favorite game which is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So Assassin's Creed Valhalla ay isa sa mga games na kung saan mabigat yung requirements and isa to sa mga games na matitest ang capabilities ng processor and yung temperature ng buong system natin. And today, you are also going to witness the transfer of our components from EATX na PC case which is Rack Galora to our AITC PC case na MATX lang yung size. And before we go ahead and proceed with our building session for today, my man, if you wanna check out the specs of uh, this PC build, just check out my description box. Nilagay ko doon lahat ng mga information na kailangan nyo. Pero yung main specs natin for today is Ryzen 7 2700, ROSB 450i Pro Wi-Fi from Gigabyte, and yung graphics card natin is RX 5700 XT Red Devil from Power Color. So without further ado, let's do this in 3, 2, 1. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Flying up and above. Wish on a star. Time to show them who's in charge. Call me a shooting star. Said I might be big in a game like she went and got them breast implants. I said I'm moving too fast, didn't even get a glance. I'm ready to eat up track like I'm seated in a restaurant. Yeah. If you had swag like mine, you know it's best to flaunt. Yeah. We aren't hating because you aren't shining like it's neon, drop like kings of neon. Shooting stars across the galaxy.
Okay, so time for testing mo men. We are going to start off with playing the game itself para ma-check natin kung makikita nyo sa taas ang GPU uh, temperature natin ay 76 degrees Celsius at 93%, around 96% to 95% of being utilized. But we're going to check the how HW Info later to check the VRAMs or the VRMs uh, MOSFET uh, temperatures. Let's try Ultra. Ano magiging? Oh, meron pa tayo Ultra. Yeah, let's do Ultra settings, man. It's time for us to check how our uh, VRMs uh, would look like. So let's quit. Kung nakikita nyo guys, uh, nag-average tayo, nag tayo sa 58 degrees Celsius with a maximum of 65 degrees. Uh, minimum, yeah, 53. So averaging siya sa 59, 60, 61. Somewhere there. Just wanna let you guys know na hindi rin tayo nag-overclock sa processor na to, kaya ganyan lang yung temperature natin. But the main purpose of this video is uh, for those uh, who are not really interested into overclocking, kaya ginagawa natin yung activity na to. That's our VRM temperature pagdating sa games na Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, let's check if what our VRM temperature would look like kapag nagre-render na tayo ng video. So, if you're going to uh, use the Ryzen 7 2700 for content creation sa YouTube using the format of H.264 and the preset is YouTube 1080p, then uh, here are the VRM temperature that's present in, uh, in front of us. Uh, final VRM after the encoding is 69 degrees Celsius average. The maximum is 72 degrees, pero yung minimum natin is 61 degrees Celsius. So, para naglalaro siya from 61 to 72 degrees, averaging at 69 degrees Celsius. Kaya, ayan. Ayan yung magiging itsura ng VRMs natin, uh, temperature VRMs kapag nag-encoding tayo ng video. Now, we are going to check the VRM temperature kapag sasadyain natin na ipump ang performance ng processor natin to 100%. So, what we have right now is IDA64 Extreme. So, pwede nyo rin ito gamitin kapag mag-test kayo ng mga bagong buo nyo na PC. So, as you can see, na 100% utilized na ang ating processor. Now, let's skip ahead. Uh, tinest ko to ng mga 15 to 20 minutes. Now, let's skip the uh, testing sa pinakadulo na sa 20th minute na para makita natin yung final temperature. So, as you can see, guys, uh, VRMs natin, maximum is 75 degrees Celsius. Current uh, average is 59, pero dito tayo mag-focus. So, maximum is 75 degrees Celsius. Minimum natin is 52 degrees Celsius for our VRMs. Now, uh, the temperature itself, nag-stabilize tayo sa processor na temperature, which is 61 degrees Celsius. Maximum and minimum is 41 degrees Celsius. So, there you go, guys. Nakita niyo naman ang ating mga tests. Overall comments ko sa Aorus B450 ay na motherboard. Ryzen 7 2700, definitely it will work kapag hindi natin i-overclock ang processor. So, kung nakita niyo naman nung pinull up natin to 100% uh, utilization yung processor, uminit ang ating VRMs to 75 degrees Celsius maximum. If you're planning to overclock mo min, it's best if you're going to use a, mother, a different type of B450. Well, if you're going to overclock, let's try to avoid the 4 plus 2 phase na VRMs kasi medyo mainit siya. Ngayong nakastock speed pa lang tayo ng Ryzen 2700. But, I just wanna let you know guys that Ryzen 7 2700 can work, will work with Aorus B450i Pro Wi-Fi na ITX motherboard. Kung wala kayong balak mag-overclock and you've decided to go compact, then this motherboard is for you guys. As in, pwedeng-pwede siya. Uh, just wanna let you know as well, if you're planning to build a full ITX system, which means gagamit kayo ng ITX na PC case, is that the VRM temperature might change as well depende sa PC case na ginamit nyo. Just want to emphasize that one because the PC case that we are using right now is an MATX PC case na merong tatlong fan, dalawang fan na intake, at isang fan na exhaust. So just in case that you're planning to build a full ITX case and limited yung fans na malalagay nyo as, or yung ITX 
PHP case nyo mismo ay halos walang magkasya na fan at yung magiging fan nyo lang ay mismo yung CPU cooler ng processor then at the VRM temperature might change drastically because the more compact it is it is highly possible that the VRM temperature will increase as well because of how compact the system unit is so there you go guys I really do hope na ang video na to naging informative sa inyo and nakatulong sa decision making process nyo kung bibili nyo ba ang Ryzen 7 2700 and Aorus B450 i Pro Wi-Fi. If you find this video useful and informative, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends kasi marami pa tayong mga experiment na gagawin. <laughs> marami pa tayong mga bagay-bagay na gagawin, guys. And, and subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and sharing with your friends will help this channel a lot. So, uh, marami salamat kung nakapag-subscribe na kayo sa channel natin. Thank you so much. I'm gonna see you again on my next uh, video.